We're now going to use a process called Live Paint to apply color to our graphic. I'm going to select my graphic with my selection tool. I'm going to go to the object drop down menu. I'm going to drop down to where it says Live Paint and select the option Make. This will convert my graphic into a Live Paint object. You will notice that it's changed the icons at the corner points and midpoints. I'm going to click in white space to start with, so I've got nothing selected. I'm then going to go and select from within inside my toolbox the Live Paint Bucket. Now if your paint bucket isn't active, you can select it by using the mouse down technique and selecting it as a sub-menu from Shape Builder. So when you select the Live Paint Bucket tool, you are presented with this icon. At the bottom you have a paint bucket with a no-go sign. You also have three swatch boxes just above the arrow. Now if you want to know exactly where your selection point is when using Live Paint Bucket, hit Caps Lock on your keyboard. It will change the arrow to a target mark. So if you want to know exactly what you're selecting, hit Caps Lock. You'll notice the three swatches at the top. Now these are actually swatches from within inside the swatches panel on the far right hand side of my screen. As I use my arrow keys, it will actually cycle through the swatch boxes. I'm just tapping the arrow key on the keyboard, right or left. I've selected a dark green colour. Now again, you will note again that I have a no-go symbol. As I actually move my cursor over my Live Paint object, you'll notice that areas are highlighted. Once an area is highlighted, I'm not actually selecting anything, I'm just moving my mouse around. When I click, it will fill that area with this color. So I'm literally just hovering around and clicking to fill in the areas that I want to fill with my green color. So very quickly. You don't have to select individual objects, you just move over them and click. Okay, highlight in red. You can fill these areas in and remember, if you do want more precise control, you can always turn on Caps Lock. And you, it's very, very fine in how it actually selects these areas. And of course, if it gets a little tricky, you can always zoom in. And if you have very, very fine areas, what you can do is zoom in. I'm just going to use Command Plus. I can find the smaller areas that I need to fill in and you can be very, very precise with this technique. Holding down spacebar allows me to scroll to make sure I'm happy with where I place my color. Command or control zero fits back in window.